are you doing today? I'm going to show you guys how today uh, how to replace your hard drive or upgrade your regular hard drive to an SSD hard drive or if you want to add an NVMe hard drive uh, M.2 hard drive you can do that too to your HP laptop X360 this one comes with an iCore 3 8th generation CPU so first thing first you want to remove the three screws right at the front end of the laptop at the bottom so you can see them right in the front there are three of them and then next you want to remove the screw right in the middle there's a plastic cover just remove the plastic cover and remove the screw in the middle next there is a hidden screws right underneath the rubber leggings right here just lift up the corner you don't have to lift up the whole thing just halfway through you want to see a one screw right there same thing another one loosen up those screws All right. once you did that next you want to remove the bottom cover and the easiest way to stick your guitar pick right in on the bottom cover between the black and the top color mine is blue so it's between between the black and the blue i'm going to stick it in and you want to twist it in a motion twist motion type just like that and you're going to hear the click sounds and you're going to do the sides and all the way back and the back side is going to lift up with a back end plastic the blue color or the color of your laptop so it's going to be just like this halfway half of the plus is going to come up so this is your bottom cover all right down here we have the hard drive right away here where the aluminium paper is first thing first there's no screws so you want to remove the ribbon cable for the hard drive right here so unhook the ribbon cable just lift it up 90 degrees and pull out the, with the tweezers if you have a big fingers like me with the tweezers just lift that out next you want to pull up the hard drive from the back end just like that this is a one terabyte hard drive this is a g8 hgst this one this company has been bought up by western digital so these are pretty much western digital hard drives so next you want to grab your ssd hard drive in this case i have a kingston 250 gig hard drive what do you want to do you want to lift up this aluminium cover right here and make sure watch out with this ribbon cable you don't want to damage it you want to remove the adapter right there just put your fingernails right between the adapter and And then lift up the adapters slowly. Just like that. All right. Once you remove the adapter for the hard drive, you're gonna use the same, the same adapter. You wanna just separate this rubber right here. Just pull it out. There's no screws. So you're going to grab the new hard drive, put it in there. For the SSD you don't need to put this on, but otherwise it's just going to move around. Once you put it just like that, and grab the adapter, place the adapter in place, just like that. Put the hard drive down, and connect the adapter. Slide it right underneath the connector and close the top cover. And that's it. Now, if you want to add an uh, M.2 hard drive, uh, NVMe hard drives, these are types like a stick hard drives, SSD ones are super fast. So, if you want to go with this one, just grab the SSD hard drive that you have, you're going to plug it on this slot right here 
and almost 30 degree angle just stick it right there and then push it down you need to grab a screw uh, they usually give you any screw but on this one you don't have any you can just find it with any other screw just put it there and that's all and to remove it the same thing 45 degree angle never lift it up all the way you want to break it in 45 degree angle just slide it out all right I just removed the put the original hard drive in as uh, this was another demonstration so I'm not gonna change the hard drive actually on this one so this is the way you should be changing your hard drive now next you want to grab the bottom cover and you're just gonna lift put it right straight on top and squeeze or press right put a pressure right on the edges on the corners Next, you're gonna put the three screw on the bottom side and one on the top and one on the each under the each rubber leggings right there. And that should be all. And I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button and it really helps me out. And if you guys have any requests, leave them in the comments and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in my next video.